In North America, daylight saving time, and that's saving with no S, comes to an end on the first Sunday on November. This is when we turn back our clocks an hour and return to standard time. But what does standard time mean? It's the local time for a particular region and is sometimes referred to as normal time or winter time. We stay in standard time until the second Sunday in March and switch back to daylight saving time, like clockwork. It may seem like a normal routine for us, but not everyone makes these twice yearly time adjustments. About 70 countries stay on standard time all year round. Here in the U.S., only two states, Hawaii and Arizona, along with several U.S. territories, observe permanent standard time. Recently, there have been talks about stopping daylight saving time altogether. Several states, including Arkansas, have passed legislation to permanently stay in standard time, but still need the okay from Congress. The problem? Progress on that has been slow. So, let's talk about the health effects of these time changes. When we fall back, we get to enjoy that extra hour of sleep, but earlier sunset times and more darkness through the winter can lead to seasonal depression and other impacts to our mental health. When we spring forward to daylight saving time, we slowly gain more daylight, but losing that hour of rest can throw off your sleep cycle. This has links to heart attacks, increasing by about 25% during the first few weeks following the time change. Some studies have even shown a slight uptick in the amount of car crashes during the morning commute. In short, less sleep, not good. There are a few things that can make these time changes easier though. When we spring forward, practice getting up earlier the week before and wind down earlier in the evenings to get the body into rest mode, especially for you night owls. Also, as tempting as it is to have that cup of coffee first thing in the morning, you'll want to limit that caffeine. For both times of the year, try to get some of that sunshine. It helps to reinforce your body's internal clock and fight depression. With this week's Science Says, I'm Corrales Ortiz.